I've always been fascinated by old Victorian homes. When I would travel the South, I would try to get into some of the plantation homes. And um, I, I just love the, the way they were structured. I love the architect. I got started in the involvement of this house probably back around 1982 or 83. And the city was going to tear it down because the city said they couldn't afford to keep it. Because it costs about $20,000 to $25,000 a year just to maintain the general aspect of it. So they sold it to a local board of people that were interested in trying to preserve it. They sold us the house for $1. The deal with the city when we got the house was that we had to keep it maintained as far as maintenance and open to the public. I'm going to say school-aged children. This is a part of history they do not know about. They don't know how people lived back in the 1800s and the early 1900s. They see how they live now in modern homes with modern conveniences. And I think it's important for them to see how people did live and how they existed. When I first got involved in the house, I wasn't the president of the board. Now I'm the president of the board and temporarily I'm the acting house director because our house director resigned in August. And so now it's really involved. So we used to have a board of about 25 people. We're now down to a board of 15. The house is now open three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have to make sure that the cleaning is done, the dusting is done, the sweeping is done. On Monday, I will change the linen in the dining room, uh, change the look of it, uh, put a different set of china on the table. On Tuesday, I sweep the second and third floors. And then on Friday, I try to do the fourth floor. In between, I will sweep the stairway, which is not an easy task. Um, I have some board members that will come in sometime through the week and help me, but not a lot because some of them are still employed and so they're busy with their own lives. Younger people aren't interested in doing things of this nature. It's the older generation. I just want to help preserve it because it's a part of history. It's a part of way where your ancestors, what they grew up with, what they didn't grow up with, how they had to struggle to make maybe ends meet. I, I want to keep available for the kids of the future. When we can't do that any longer, we have to give it back to the city. I hope we get our dollar back. <laughs> I think that's only fair.